when we ask people on the doorstep, you know, how do you feel Bedford has gotten over the last 10 years, almost everybody, not everyone, but almost everybody has said, oh, it's, it's gone down, isn't it? Well, it's been under his tenure. The fact that the trains have gone, the fact M&S might be going, it's all under his watch. And, you know, I don't like to criticise, but, you know, facts have to speak for themselves sometimes. I think the rural areas is as important as the urban area um, and, and by talking to people it's clear that they feel that they've been let down by the council at the moment um, just on basic things like the states of the roads and, and street lights um, they, they feel like they're the forgotten part of Bedford Borough so you know we have to make sure that they don't feel like that we went across the whole borough so it wasn't like it was in a localised area and for the same things to keep coming up time after time after time they clearly are issues for people and we know with what's happened over the last few months with, with some of the crime and you know things that um, th these things do happen and the town centre let's face it you know we don't want to lose people like Marks and Spencer's, Debenhams and Beals but if we don't do something quick we're going to we need to make this place more attractive to get more people in to want to come into Bedford to shop and maybe to do other things as well. Retail's changing, it's not about shopping anymore, it's about a, a town centre experience.